Hi, this is Steven. In this video, I want to introduce you to the hypershade and how you can see the inputs and outputs of texture nodes. In the last video, we uh, were introduced to bump mapping, and some of you had questions about how to access different nodes easily because sometimes it, it, it's not very straightforward. Uh, so I'm, I'm creating an object here. I'm going to right click, create new material, create a blend. And as a new material is created, it's in the, if I select the object, it should be in the last tab to the right. Uh, so that's how you can access a material to a specific object with its attributes. Once it's assigned, um, you can edit your, uh, your attributes here. Bump mapping is what we were talking about. We added a uh, noise. I'm going to add a fractal here. And you notice once we add it, it uh, brings up a bump 2D node, which uh, you can't really adjust the bump value. That's determined by your fractal. So the bump map value goes out, or uh, actually, I'm sorry. If the triangle's to the left, that's an input. If the triangle's to the right, it's an output. So if we want to know what's coming into this bump depth, this bump 2D node, you can click that and it goes to the fractal. Uh, if you want to know what's coming into the fractal, you can click on its input and it's going to be the place 2D texture node, which has to do with how it repeats or wraps or rotates. Um, uh, with the place 2D texture, we say, okay, where does it go out to? It goes out to the fractal, and then where the fractal goes out to the bump 2D node. Um, hope that makes sense. Uh, a way that we can visualize that is in the rendering Windows rendering editor's hypershade. Okay, uh, you should have a browser area that has all the materials that you have created plus the default materials. Uh, I'm going to grab this middle mouse, drag this blend 8 into my work area here. I'm going to click it and just as I had the inputs and outputs here, I can map the inputs and outputs of this. So I'm going to map the inputs and here I can see the place 2D texture, how it feeds to the fractal, how it feeds to the bump. You can actually hover over a line and it'll tell you exactly what attributes are being connected to what. Um, and Maya is just a big network of inputs and outputs, nodes connected to nodes, attributes to other attributes. And uh, this is, the hypershade may allow you to, to access these these things in your attribute editor easily. So if I click off, I can click this in the attribute editor in, or in the hypershade, and it should bring it up here. If I want to change the bump value, um, <clears throat> I can select it here. If I want to manipulate the fractal, um, so that was that was uh, kind of one of the questions. How how do you access this? And that wasn't very clear in the video. The last thing is, I, I don't know if I mentioned or not, but real simply, uh, you may not see the bump on your object here, and that just has to do with what uh, shaded view you're in. There's a wireframe, which is, if, and there's shaded view, and then there's shaded view with or without texture. So the shortcut keys for that is four for wireframe, five for shaded, six for shaded with your textures on there. I uh, hope this helps, and if you have any questions, let me know, and we'll get more into shading and texturing and materials later, but this I just wanted to help you guys be able to access those attributes through these inputs and outputs um, and see how that looks in the hypershade.